Welcome back to Honest News. This morning, when I went to prayer, the Lord gave to me a word, and uh, the Holy Spirit led me to pray a certain prayer uh, concerning a certain word, and that word is dissolve. So that's what we're going to be looking at in this lesson today. If you'd like to follow in God in the reading of God's word with us, Psalm chapter 75 and beginning with verse 3. Psalm 75 and verse 3. It says, And the earth and all the inhabitants thereof are dissolved. The earth and all the inhabitants thereof are dissolved. I bear up the pillars of it. Selah. Now another place the Lord says the pillars of the earth are the Lord's. He bears up the pillars. But the earth and all the inhabitants thereof are dissolved. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you once again, God, for giving us direction. Help us to understand where we are, Lord, to understand how close we are to the end of all things. We pray, Lord, that this word will be safely sown into the hearts of your people, bring forth fruit, worthy, Lord, worthy of you, fruit that will even to a hundredfold perfection, fruit to perfection. We plead the blood of Jesus as we minister your word. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So everything according to the scripture is going to be dissolved. Where are you in this. Where are you? If everything's going to be dissolved, where are you? Isaiah chapter 24, verse 19. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean, dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. The earth is clean, dissolved. This word dissolve means to be broken down into a solution. Now, if I was to give a title to this message, it would be The Final Solution, God's Redemptive Plan. Now, we all know that Hitler termed his Holocaust the final solution. We also know that he was trying to play God. We know that it was a counterfeit of what God is doing. That was man's wrath being poured out. But God is going to pour out his wrath. How many know that? And this will be the final solution. Now, before we go into the further into this study, I'd like to look at a few words. In the word dissolve, we find the word solve. Isn't that interesting? So God is going to dissolve to solve the problem. Are you listening? The word solve means to find a solution, an answer, okay, an answer. Now, notice what it says, number two, to pay in full, solve a debt. 
to pay in full. That's why I'm entitling this message, The Final Solution and God's Redemptive Plan. Redemption has to do with buying back to pay the full price. So this word solve means to pay in full, to solve a debt. In the word dissolve is the word solve. God's going to solve the problem of sin. Amen? He already has through Jesus, through the cross, but he's also going to pour out his wrath upon all those that reject Jesus. This is the final solution. You talk about depopulation. This is the final solution. God's redemptive plan. Now, aren't you glad that God doesn't say, okay, you can be redeemed, you can be redeemed, but you can't be redeemed. Aren't you glad God says whosoever will? God is just. He's fair. Amen? Unlike men that are partial in their ways. Amen? Now, brothers and sisters, we must be like our Heavenly Father. We must be just like Him. We must be just, fair. Amen? We can't be hypocrites. We cannot take sides. We cannot be biased. We cannot be prejudiced. We must be righteous our judgment must be righteous judgment based upon God's judgment amen we must hand down the judgment that God gives to us to hand down it's his judgment Jesus said I don't judge amen he says I don't judge even Paul said I judge no man it's God that is judging through us. Paul said, I'm judged of no man and I don't judge any man. In ourselves, we judge no man. It's all God's judgment. It's his word. Amen? So God's final solution to the problem is to dissolve everything, to melt it all down, to liquefy it into the solution. And in that process, God is going to redeem that which is redeemable. Now, there's another word here I'd like us to look at, the word extinguish. I found this interesting. The word extinguish, you would think, that's to put out a fire, right? Well, notice what it says here. It means to bring to an end, make an end of. It means to cause to be void or nullify. Notice what the last one is, to get rid of usually by payment to extinguish a debt. Praise the Lord. God's going to put out the fire of hell on this earth. Did you hear what I said? This earth is being set on fire. The course of nature is being set on fire of hell. And God's going to put out the fire of hell on this earth. There'll be a new heaven and a new earth. Praise God wherein dwelleth righteousness. Seems like there's more hellfire on this earth every single day through the tongues of people. This earth is being set on fire of hell. But God's going to put out the fire of hell with his fire. Amen? With his brightness, with his glory. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Okay, let's go back to the scripture now. Isaiah 34. 
Isaiah 34, verse 4. And all the host of heaven shall be dissolved. Speaking of the stars, the moon, the sun, all the pl- everything, all the host of heaven shall be dissolved. And the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. And all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth off from the vine. And as a falling fig from the fig tree. Everything's going to be dissolved. When God says there's going to be a new heaven and a new earth, he means that. He means that. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved. We have a building of God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. This earthly house, this tabernacle, this physical body is going to be dissolved. But we that are being redeemed through God's redemptive plan, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. And because of this, because of this, it says, for in this we groan. Are you groaning? Earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. There should be a groaning, a longing. There should be an earnest desire for that new heavenly house or tabernacle not made with hands. A glorified body, brothers and sisters a glorified body. If so be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan, being burdened, not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon, that mortality might be swallowed up of life. Praise God. Second Peter chapter 3 verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance. God's redemptive plan in the midst of the final solution. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Here's the final solution. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, And the elements shall melt with what? Fervent heat. The earth also in the works that are therein shall be burned up. Now, whether you believe it or not, it's going to happen. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, What manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Seeing these things, knowing that everything's going to be dissolved, how should you and I be living? Holy, godly. 
Amen. Holy, godly, blessed be his name, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved. The solution, the final solution. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Amen. This is God's answer to deal with eradicating sin from the earth. Are you listening to me? But God is going to do something very powerful, very supernatural during this process of his redemptive plan. Listen to this. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens, a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Glory to God. What a promise. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent, not lazy, not half-hearted, be diligent, that you may be found of him in peace, without spot, and blameless. Are you listening? Blameless. God's redemptive plan is that you and I would be found in him in peace, without spot, and blameless. And all those that are not redeemed the final solution is that they will be dissolved. Amen. Amen. God will soon pour out his wrath, the final solution. He will deal with sin. He will deal with the wickedness of man. And ultimately, he will deal with that devil. Listen. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. God's going to deal with that wicked, that man of sin. He's going to deal with the false prophet. He's going to deal with the devil. Amen. There'll come a time when all sin, when all wickedness, when all rebellion will be dealt with. The final solution, righteousness, shall fill the earth. Amen. What a day that'll be, brothers and sisters. No more devil. Amen. No more sin. No more temptation. Praise his name. Peace, joy, and righteousness in the Holy Ghost to live in total, complete bliss, perfection. Glory to his name. We have a great promise, brothers and sisters. Now, what should you and I be doing? Look up. Your redemption is drawing near. Your complete state of release is drawing near. Where that physical body is going to be dissolved and God's going to give you a glorified body. Whether you go out in the first of the first fruits or you go out as in the first fruits, the church in the middle of the week, middle of the seven years, even those that are going to escape death in the church that are going to be taken up in the middle of the seven years, even they, in, in a moment, a twinkling of an eye, they'll be changed. Even their physical bodies will be dissolved and they will receive their new heavenly house, the tabernacle from heaven that God 
has designed, a glorified body. Amen? But the bride, the overcomer, is going to experience that the first of the first fruits. Praise his name. We should be looking up. Why did God give this word to me this morning? Not after spending hours and hours in prayer. As soon as I touched my knees on the floor and went to praying, it came to me. Dissolve. Everything's going to be dissolved. It's all going to be dissolved. Even our physical body is going to be dissolved. But the Lord is going to redeem the purchased possession in full. Amen? In full. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. In full. That's what we read. This is in the word dissolve. Solve. He's going to solve the problem. See it? Solve a problem. Amen. Solve the crime. Are you listening? To pay in full. Solve a debt. God's redemptive plan. The final solution, people. And God's redemptive plan. Hallelujah. God is faithful to redeem us to keep us, to preserve us, to deliver us. Amen? Look up, people. Look up with great anticipation, with longing, with a groaning, an earnest longing. Oh, I feel his presence. I feel his presence. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your word. He is so faithful, people. The Lord is so faithful. Amen. He gives us his word. He gives us his word. Amen. Glory to God. The world is getting ready for that wicked to be revealed. The falling away is now. The the falling away is taking place now. But the Lord would have us to focus on everything's going to be dissolved. And he would have you and I to be looking up. That's what the Lord would have us to do. Look up. Straighten up. Look up, brothers and sisters. Glory to his name. Amen. God is faithful. Hallelujah. I was over in a, a place of business yesterday or the day before I guess it was and was sharing with the person that worked there about all that's going on today and the Trump administration and all this we were just talking about different things and by the time of the end of the conversation this guy looked like he had no hope because I was telling him everything in this world's gonna there's no hope in anything in this world and he could you could just tell that was sinking in for him he was agreeing with me And then the Holy Ghost came upon me and just encouraged that man, look up. Not that he's saved, not that he knows Jesus, but when I said to him, all we can do now is look up, a big smile came on his face and he didn't even probably know why, but joy began to come into his heart and he began to just get excited. He probably didn't even know what what was going on. But the Lord, the Lord was dealing with that man because man thinks that they are in control. They think that, you know, some man's going to come on the scene and change things. Are you listening to me, people? The only hope is in Jesus Christ. There is no other hope. And we've got to help people to understand that. Amen? We've got to be ready to share the hope that is in us with everyone that would ask us. Amen. Glory to his name. Look up, brothers and sisters, because there's nothing, there's nothing on this earth that we should be looking at. 
it's all going to fail. Look up. Our redemption, complete state of release, is drawing near. Paid in full.